Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Rick Utzler and this is Airgun Web where we're going to tell you the facts, not fluff. Today's review product is the Ottoman M2 Carbine. This thing is very, very impressive. Stay with us. We'll be right back. talk a little bit about my history and how I got to appreciate something at this price point. If you're new to air guns, you're probably looking at $100, $150 brake barrels and going, wow, those are expensive. I was there, did the same thing, and I get it. I absolutely get it. As you start growing in the, in the sport, and if you get into the sport, you become an enthusiast, you become a real air gun hobbyist, you're going to appreciate the finer things in the sport. Um, I remember I went from like the brake barrels to the Discovery, from the Discovery to the Marauder, from the Marauder to the next and the next and the next and the next. And at each level, you know, you're looking at $300, $500, $800 and so forth. And you go, wow, you know, if, if I had said like in the beginning, if somebody told me when I first started, Rick, you're going to be spending, you know, $1,200 on a gun and you're not going to, you're not even going to blink at it as far as the value goes, if you have the money to do it. I would have called them absolutely crazy. There was no way that I could have fathomed I would have been in that position. But as I've grown in the sport, I've come to realize that, you know what, you do get what you pay for. And when you're working with a product at this caliber, everything just starts to fit together. The barrel's a Lothar Walther match barrel. The regulator is exceptional. When I'm talking about exceptional in the regulator, extreme spread on this thing may be four or five feet per second across a shot string. It's very, very good. Um, the shot count on this is astronomical. I'm getting, gosh, I'd probably get close to 200 shots out of this gun. Um, on the bench, in the shop, when we were just doing basic pellet testing, I got 168 shots from 300 bar down to 150 bar, and I don't think I fall off the reg yet. So I think we could probably go, I don't know how many more magazines, but I, goodness, I think 200 shots out of this is probably not a problem. The action is super buttery smooth. You'll notice when you go to cock this gun, there's no effort involved. And you can decock it, by the way. It's super easy to cock. The trigger is really a sub one pound trigger, fully adjustable. That's what you've come to expect when you're gonna spend this kind of money on this kind of gun. You want all those features in place, and the Ottomans absolutely have it. Now, this one is pushing right at 15 foot pounds, and I'm doesn't matter what pellet I'm running, the power output's right in that 14.7 to 15 foot-pounds. Now, I believe the max output on these is about 22 foot-pounds. I believe this is adjustable, although I didn't see anywhere in the manual that tells you how to do it. So I haven't touched this. I'm just shooting it as it came out of the box. Now, I spent a good bit of time going through different pellets just to see what may be the best option. And realistically, it shoots a lot of pellets very well. But some of the best pellets, some of the best results we got came actually from the Barracuda Hunter Extremes and also the Field Target Trophies. Here at 21 yards, I can just stack it, boom, 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 boom. I can put pellet after pellet and just start cutting ragged holes with this thing. That's exactly what I wanted out of a product like this. Now, one of the things I did is I went ahead and put some really good glass on this. This is the Hawk Sidewinder ED. Now this scope is right in that thousand plus or minus dollar range. This is not an inexpensive optic. This is a very expensive optic. The gun itself sells for well over a thousand dollars. Now if you're a firearms person and you have a very expensive rifle, spending a thousand dollars on a scope, really that's just what you normally do. That's not that big of a deal. But we as air gunners, we're not really used to spending that kind of cash on a scope. But when I'm shooting this kind of precision, I want that. This is a 10 to 50 power scope. I'm able to dial this up to 50 power and gosh, at 25 yards, if I was shooting bench rest, for example, man, you could really, really get in tight and see every little grain on the paper that you're trying to hit with these pellets. So for that purpose, I think this is a great match to this rifle for what I'm using it for. If I were to take this out and shoot collar dove or, or small game, I would probably put a different optic on it, something with a little less power, a little bit more forgiving eye relief, 
certainly wouldn't need that 50 power. Maybe like a 3 to 12 or something like that would be really good for this. But for the bench rest type situation or just super precision shooting, this scope is phenomenal. And this is a rifle that I think is worthy of $1,000 with a glass. You know, some people may argue that point, but really I think it's absolutely worth it. If you're gonna be shooting at this level, you wanna put the best glass you can on this kind of a gun. I guess that's about it with this particular rifle. Um, I am thrilled with it. I'm just tickled that I got the opportunity to spend some time with this gun. Don't be afraid of the price tag. It's worth every penny. I'd like to take a moment and say thank you to Pyramid Air. You know, they help support these videos. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have the opportunity to work with these great products and tell you guys about them. When you're looking to buy your next air gun, looking to get your next batch of air gun supplies, please do so over at Pyramid Air, www.pyramidair.com. And remember, when you're looking for real world air gun reviews, remember Airgun Web, where we're going to tell you the facts, not fluff. My name is Rick Usler. Thanks for watching.